Jeez, that carpet busting. What is up you guys welcome back to another video today's video should be pretty interesting i finally got a new performance mod for the z let me go ahead and get the z up in the driveway and i'll show you guys what it is Alright, now it's time to show you guys what's in the box. So in here we have the Z1 M-Spec cold air intake. And I've been wanting to do this mod for such a long time. I've legit had the Z for like two and a half years, I think. And the intake was probably one of the most anticipating mods I was trying to do on the Z. It took this long to finally get it. Let me show you guys real quick what happened. I was changing my spark plugs the other day. If you guys have a VQ or a DE to be specific, we have this hose that connects to the bottom of this intake, right? And I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Uh, the hose and the plastic part that connects to the hose broke. So that is the reason why I picked this one up because I had no choice. I had to replace it. I even tried to plastic weld it like three separate times. And each time that I was almost close to connecting it, it ripped apart so yeah i was heated and i was like you know what let me just go ahead and buy this intake i've been wanting it for such a long time already but let me show you guys what else is included inside the box so you know z1 always throws in these little event things that are going on and then this piece fits right up under here so it can mount to the front of the radiator and then we got the main pipe it actually goes just like that connects to the throttle body and goes down there should be pretty nice and then we have the filter in this box jeez that blue goes hard low-key that blue is super nice um but yeah that's pretty much just what's in the box um a whole bunch of other packaging stuff so nothing gets ruined and yeah i'm just super excited to finally have one and to finally install one on the z because it's desperately needed one for a long time and it's getting hotter outside summertime is just right around the corner i don't want to bore you guys with the whole disassembling everything out of the engine bay so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a time lapse and hurry up and get this done because i'm super excited and it's still really hot i just want to go ahead and get this over with so let's run the time lapse Hope you guys enjoyed that little time lapse but as you guys can see i pretty much got bumper off the oem intake off i got that off in about like no lie probably 10 minutes it was not even that bad i pretty much already had the oem intake already disassembled but let me show you guys what happened like i said i was changing my spark plugs and i just look over at the tube and i see this and it's crazy because if you have that leak the car will legit sound like you have a cam which i'm not and that's obviously not a good sign so went ahead and bought the new intake to take care of that pretty much what i'm going to do is mock everything up and tighten all the stuff up that i need to i'm really excited to finally put this thing on <laughs> i'm probably going to keep most of this stuff on while i install it because i do not want to scratch this i'm going to take my time and i'll try to film as much as i can but damn this is going to look so sick all right guys i'm doing a terrible job at recording but i'm trying my best um i finally got the coupler on on the throttle body i'm just trying to figure out if my wires for the LED strip and the halo are gonna be in the way. I'm trying to figure out how the air filter is gonna sit. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'll get to you guys in a bit once I figure all that out, but damn, I can't wait. Just like that, guys. 
the new intake is finally in all right i'm not gonna lie i kind of underestimated how long that was gonna take that took way longer than expected not gonna lie so i really finished 15 minutes ago but like as i was everything was already connected everything was already done i even wiped down the whole pipe and everything i was unscrewing this little screw and it fell inside of the pipe so i had to literally take off this little coupler right here take off the filter and then reach and get it that was such a headache it's always like when you're almost done if something bad happens like that's always how it goes i would be lying if i said i wasn't scared i am kind of terrified uh, just because you know with us car guys and our luck like there's just always something going bad but let's go ahead and start it real quick sheesh moment of truth let's go I'm gonna let it warm up and we'll give it a little bit of little bit of throttle in a little bit. All right, the engine is pretty much warmed up now. Let's go ahead and give it a couple revs real quick. That sounds crazy. Let me go ahead, put everything back together and uh, We'll go on a test drive. All right, guys, we finally got everything back together and we are now going on our first drive. It's gonna be hard to kind of punch it and record it at the same time. So I'm gonna have to figure out something. And I'm wearing the wrong shoes for this. I'm literally wearing Air Maxes. And you guys know Air Maxes are like, they got like a hella thick sole. I should have worn my Vans, but I was just like too excited, I guess, to remember that. All right, let's go. All right. Oh, it does sound louder. Dude, no lie. As soon as you hit on it, maybe around 3,000, 4,000, dog, it gets louder. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> You can definitely hear it in the engine too. Like, damn, that sounds crazy. It definitely feels like it wants to get on it more, if that makes sense. Like it wants to like keep going. I haven't driven my car in about like, a, like two days because of what I showed you guys, the uh, the tube on my intake broke. So I've literally just been waiting for this part to come in so I can finally drive it. And this is like the first drive in a couple days. Man, it feels so good to be back in the car. Honestly, it feels like 10 times faster, responsive, louder, like everything. This is so worth your money. If you guys haven't got one for your Z already, dog, you need this is your sign to like get one now. Sheesh. Nah, that is wild. All right, I don't know if that's just from the intake alone. I did, like I said, just replace my spark plugs about maybe three days ago, two days ago, and they were really burnt. So maybe that also has to do with why it feels a lot more responsive, a lot more faster. I know it's just a, it's just a cold air intake, but that honestly let the engine breathe so much more because as you guys know, the filter sits right there. Cold air goes under the bumper, up there into the engine. You can definitely smell like the metal, like the fresh metal burning. I did not think it would make that much of a difference, but that's gonna be it for today's video. I know it wasn't super long, but honestly, this is probably like the most funnest videos I've made in a long time. I really enjoyed putting this together and see, just seeing the result afterwards is really worth it. I hope this motivates you guys to at least buy a cold air intake for any car you have because trust me 
it'll like change the quality of the ride and overall it's just like a good bang for your buck i do have a meet coming up this saturday i'll probably vlog that as well for you guys but if you guys did enjoy today's video go down below give it a like subscribe to the channel we're trying to get to 4k very soon subscribe to the channel if you're not already i catch you guys in another video